Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install VMware Workstation Player on your Windows 10 operating system. So let's get started. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for VMware. And the first link which will appear here will be from VMware.com. So I'm going to just click on this link and straight away you will uh, see uh, this option which says download. And then you just need to click on the open source option. Okay, so download and then open source option. And here you can uh, scroll down until you see VMware player. Okay, so you will see VMware player on the desktop and end user computing. So just go under desktop and end user computing. And when you scroll down here, you will see VMware player. So I'm going to just click on VMware player here. And then here you will be able to see uh, VMware workstation 15.5.2 uh, at the time of making this video. This is the latest version for Windows 64 bit operating systems. So just choose this option and click on the download button here. And you will see uh, that the download of this executable file will start. So I will wait for the download of this executable file. And once this executable file is downloaded, I'm going to just click on this executable file and then open this executable file. And now I'm going to minimize the browser also. And in the first step, it says this installer requires you to restart your system to finish installing a Microsoft VC redistributable and then rerun the installer. So I'm going to click on the yes button. And once my Windows operating system is restarted, I'm going to just click on this executable file once again. And then the VMware installation will start. So first of all, you will see this window here. So I'm going to just click on the next button. And then you will see the license terms and conditions. If you agree with those license terms and condition, click on I accept, click on next. And then here, this will be the location where VMware player will be installed on your Windows operating system. So if you don't have the good reason to change it, just leave it as default. And also you will see this option, enhanced keyboard driver, a reboot will be required to use this feature. So I will uh, also use uh, this option also. So I will check this option and then click on uh, next. And then click on next once again. And this is also going to uh, create a desktop icon for you and startup menu program folder for you also. So I'm going to leave everything as default and click on next and then click on install. You can see the installation process is going on. So I will wait for the installation process to finish. And now I can see this window which says completed the VMware workstation 15 player setup wizard. So just click on finish option. And because I have checked the restart option, so it will give me this window which says uh, if you want to restart uh, manually. So here I will uh, click on no option because I want to restart my Windows operating system manually after this video is complete. So I will click on no. And now I can go to the uh, Windows start uh, icon here and then I can see this option which says VMware workstation 15 player. So I'm going to click on this uh, app here and for the first time whenever you start your vmware workstation player it's going to ask you if you want to use it for non-commercial use or the commercial use so we want to use it for the non-commercial use so i will just check this box and then click on continue and then click on the finish option which is going to launch the vmware player on my windows operating system it gives me uh, this window also for now I will just say remind me later and here I can see uh, create a new virtual machine so if you want to create a new virtual machine you can click on this button and then if you have the ISO file for your operating system you can uh, just browse for the ISO file from here and then uh, click on the next options to uh, install an operating system on your VMware workstation player so this is how you can uh, download and install uh, vmware player on your uh, windows operating system i hope you enjoyed i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video